One of the most significant revelations about China's nuclear capabilities that has garnered widespread attention is the rapid expansion of its nuclear arsenal. This expansion includes not only the number of warheads but also the development of new delivery systems, such as hypersonic missiles and submarine-launched ballistic missiles (SLBMs). Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. The most shocking aspect of this revelation is the pace at which China is modernizing and expanding its nuclear forces. According to reports from the Pentagon and various think tanks, China is on track to at least double the size of its nuclear warheads by the mid-2020s, potentially reaching parity with the United States and Russia in terms of nuclear capabilities by the 2030s. This rapid expansion challenges the long-standing nuclear balance and has significant implications for global security and strategic stability. Moreover, China's development of advanced delivery systems, such as hypersonic glide vehicles (HGVs), which can maneuver at speeds of Mach 5 or higher, has raised concerns about the effectiveness of existing missile defense systems and the potential for a new arms race. These developments have not only grabbed the attention of military analysts and policymakers but also the general public, as they underscore the evolving nature of nuclear deterrence and the potential for a shift in the global balance of power. China's nuclear strategy is characterized by its commitment to a no-first-use policy, meaning it pledges not to use nuclear weapons first in a conflict. This policy is a cornerstone of China's nuclear doctrine, emphasizing the role of nuclear weapons primarily for deterrence rather than offensive purposes. In recent years, China has been modernizing and expanding its nuclear arsenal, focusing on developing a nuclear triad, consisting of land-based ballistic missiles, submarine-launched ballistic missiles (SLBMs), and strategic bombers. This diversification aims to ensure a second strike capability, allowing China to retaliate after a nuclear attack. Some of the notable developments in China's nuclear strategy include 1. DF-41 missile. The Dongfeng-41 is China's latest land-based intercontinental ballistic missile (ICBM) capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads and striking targets across the globe. It is a key component of China's strategic deterrence. 2. JL-2 and JL-3 SLBMs China has been developing and deploying submarine-launched ballistic missiles, such as the JL-2 and the newer JL-3, to enhance its sea-based nuclear deterrence. These missiles are designed to be launched from its fleet of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines SSBNs. 3. Hypersonic Weapons China has been at the forefront of developing hypersonic weapons, including hypersonic glide vehicles HGVs, that can maneuver at speeds of Mach 5 or higher. These weapons are seen as a way to penetrate advanced missile defense systems and pose a significant challenge to existing strategic balances. 4. Nuclear Submarines China has been expanding and modernizing its fleet of nuclear-powered submarines, including both ballistic missile submarines SSBNs, and guided missile submarines SSGNs. This expansion underscores China's efforts to enhance its sea-based nuclear deterrence and power projection capabilities. 5. Space and Cyber Capabilities While not directly nuclear-related, China's investments in space and cyber capabilities are part of its broader military modernization efforts. These capabilities are crucial for command and control, early warning, and strategic communications, which are essential for nuclear operations. Some general insights into how secrecy around military projects, particularly those related to nuclear capabilities, is approached and the potential risks associated with such secrecy. A. Secrecy in military projects. 1. National security concerns. Governments often classify information related to military projects, especially those involving advanced technologies or strategic capabilities like nuclear weapons, to protect national security interests. This secrecy is intended to prevent adversaries from gaining insights that could be used to develop countermeasures or to target critical infrastructure and capabilities. 2. Intelligence gathering. Secrecy can also be a tool in intelligence gathering allowing a country to maintain an element of surprise or uncertainty in its strategic posture. This uncertainty can serve as a deterrent against potential adversaries. 3. Technological superiority. K-1 
Keeping certain projects secret can help a nation maintain or achieve technological superiority. By not disclosing the full extent of its capabilities, a country can ensure that its military edge is not easily replicated or neutralized by competitors. B. Potential risks of secrecy. 1. Misperception and miscalculation. Excessive secrecy can lead to misperceptions and miscalculations, especially in the realm of nuclear strategy. If other nations are unaware of the true capabilities or intentions behind a secret project, they may overestimate or underestimate the threat it poses, potentially leading to conflict. 2. Arms race. Secret military projects, especially those related to nuclear capabilities, can fuel an arms race. As nations respond to perceived threats with their secret projects, it can lead to a cycle of escalation that undermines global security and stability. 3. Transparency and trust. Secrecy can erode transparency and trust in international relations. Open channels of communication and transparency are essential for building confidence and reducing the risk of conflict. Secret projects can hinder these efforts and lead to increased tensions. 4. Technical and operational risks. From a practical standpoint, maintaining secrecy around complex projects can also pose technical and operational risks. It may limit the ability to collaborate with international partners, access certain technologies, or benefit from external expertise, potentially slowing down development or leading to suboptimal solutions. An overview of the broader trends and developments that are currently reshaping China's nuclear landscape. 1. Modernization of the nuclear triad. China has been modernizing its nuclear forces to ensure a credible second strike capability. This involves upgrading and expanding its land-based missiles, developing and deploying more advanced submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, and enhancing its strategic bomber fleet. 2. Development of hypersonic weapons. China has made significant strides in the development of hypersonic weapons, including hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and hypersonic cruise missiles. These weapons can maneuver at speeds of Mach 5 or higher, making them extremely difficult to intercept and providing China with a potent means of penetrating enemy missile defenses. 3. Expansion of nuclear arsenal. China is expanding its nuclear arsenal, with estimates suggesting it could at least double the size of its nuclear warheads by the mid-2020s. This expansion is part of a broader military modernization program aimed at enhancing China's strategic deterrence capabilities. 4. Strategic Force Structure. China is also working on improving the survivability and flexibility of its strategic forces. This includes the construction of underground tunnels and silos for its land-based missiles, as well as the development of mobile launchers. Additionally, China is building new classes of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines (SSBNs) to improve its sea-based deterrence. 5. Command, Control, Communications, Computers, Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance (C4ISR). China is investing in advanced C4ISR systems to enhance its strategic decision-making capabilities and the effectiveness of its nuclear forces. This includes satellite-based early warning systems, secure communications networks, and improved intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, capabilities. 6. Nuclear Doctrine and Strategy While maintaining its no-first-use policy, China is refining its nuclear doctrine to reflect its growing capabilities and strategic interests. This includes a greater emphasis on the role of nuclear weapons in its overall military strategy and the potential for more nuanced uses of nuclear forces in various scenarios. China's nuclear ambitions are part of its broader military modernization program, aimed at enhancing its strategic deterrence capabilities and ensuring its status as a major global power. The extent of these ambitions is evident in several key areas. 1. Nuclear Triad Modernization China is modernizing its nuclear triad, which consists of land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs, and strategic bombers. This includes the development of more advanced missiles with increased range and payload capacity, as well as the construction of new classes of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines SSBNs, and the modernization of its bomber fleet. 2. Expansion of Nuclear Arsenal China is expanding the size of its nuclear arsenal. 
Estimates suggest that it could at least double the number of its nuclear warheads by the mid-2020s, potentially reaching parity with the United States and Russia in terms of nuclear capabilities by the 2030s. This expansion is driven by a desire to ensure a credible second strike capability and to maintain strategic stability in the face of advancing missile defense technologies and the nuclear capabilities of other states. 3. Advanced Technology Development China is at the forefront of developing advanced technologies that can enhance its nuclear capabilities, such as hypersonic weapons and anti-satellite systems. Hypersonic glide vehicles HGVs, which can maneuver at speeds of Mach 5 or higher, are particularly noteworthy as they can pose a significant challenge to existing missile defense systems and change the dynamics of nuclear deterrence. 4. Strategic Infrastructure China is investing in strategic infrastructure, including the construction of underground facilities and silos for its land-based missiles, to improve the survivability of its nuclear forces. These measures are intended to protect its nuclear assets from preemptive strikes and ensure their availability for retaliation. 5. Nuclear Doctrine and Strategy While China maintains a no-first-use policy, its nuclear doctrine is evolving to reflect its growing capabilities and strategic interests. This includes a more sophisticated approach to the role of nuclear weapons in its overall military strategy, with an emphasis on their use for deterrence and the prevention of nuclear blackmail. 6. Implications for Global Security The expansion and modernization of China's nuclear capabilities have significant implications for global security. A. Strategic Stability The growth of China's nuclear arsenal and the development of advanced delivery systems could affect the global strategic balance potentially leading to an arms race and reducing strategic stability. b. Nuclear non-proliferation. China's nuclear expansion may influence other states' decisions regarding their own nuclear programs, potentially undermining non-proliferation efforts. c. Regional tensions. China's enhanced nuclear capabilities could heighten tensions with its neighbors and other major powers, particularly in the context of territorial disputes and regional hegemony. d. Arms control and diplomacy. The changing nuclear landscape could complicate arms control negotiations and agreements, requiring new diplomatic efforts to manage the risks associated with an expanded nuclear triad. E. Technological race. The development of advanced technologies like hypersonic weapons could prompt other nations to accelerate their own research and development programs, leading to a technological race with unpredictable outcomes. China's master nuclear plan, while not a term used in official documents, can be understood as the comprehensive strategy and initiatives aimed at modernizing and expanding its nuclear capabilities. Key points about this plan and its potential impact on the world include 1. Modernization of the nuclear triad. China is developing and deploying more advanced ICBMs, such as the DF-41, which can carry multiple nuclear warheads and strike targets across the globe. China is expanding its fleet of SSBNs and developing new SLBMs, like the JL-2 and JL-3, to enhance its sea-based nuclear deterrence. China is modernizing its bomber fleet and is developing new capabilities for its aircraft to carry nuclear weapons. 2. Expansion of Nuclear Arsenal China is increasing the number of its nuclear warheads, with estimates projecting significant growth in the coming years, potentially challenging the nuclear primacy of the United States and Russia. 3. Advanced Technology Development China has made rapid progress in the development of hypersonic glide vehicles and other advanced delivery systems, which could provide it with a strategic advantage by penetrating existing missile defense systems. China is enhancing its space-based early warning and surveillance capabilities and is investing in cyber capabilities to protect and project its nuclear forces. 4. Strategic Infrastructure China is building extensive underground facilities and silos to protect its nuclear forces from preemptive strikes, ensuring their survivability and capability for second strike retaliation. 5. Nuclear Doctrine and Strategy While maintaining its no-first-use policy, China is refining its nuclear doctrine to better integrate its growing nuclear capabilities into its overall military strategy, potentially allowing for more flexible deployment options. 6. Potential impact on the world. The expansion of China's nuclear capabilities could alter the global strategic balance, potentially leading to an arms race and reducing strategic stability. China's actions may influence other states' decisions on their nuclear programs, 
with implications for global non-proliferation efforts. The modernization of China's nuclear forces could heighten tensions with neighboring countries and other major powers, particularly in the context of territorial disputes. China's growing nuclear capabilities add complexity to international arms control and disarmament efforts, requiring new diplomatic approaches to manage the risks of an expanded nuclear triad. The development of advanced technologies by China could prompt other nations to accelerate their own research and development programs, potentially leading to a new technological arms race. In summary, China's master nuclear plan reflects a strategic effort to enhance its nuclear capabilities, ensuring a credible deterrent and a more assertive role on the global stage. The implications of this plan are far-reaching, affecting global strategic stability, nuclear non-proliferation efforts, regional security dynamics, and the future of arms control negotiations. We hope you enjoy this episode and feel free to share your thoughts about China's master nuclear plan down in the comment below. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.